Hey everybody, Paul Gorman, the Golf Vacation Pro. Uh, what am I doing? I'm taking you on the best golf travel experiences of your life. Today, Mark, he's coming back to the game, right? Mark came into the game today and he's just like over tilting, right? He's really like dipping down and doing some stuff like that. Arms inside. So I got him turning a little bit more level, taking the club outside and a little bit of the club face. You're gonna see that too. So like, comment, subscribe below and I'll see you when we're finished. Thanks. So when you see that. Yeah, that's going out. Yeah, it's too far out there. And I think what happens is it shuts off a little bit of the rotation. I can see on the left side here, your, your, your body's extending. You can see your head moving up as you turn your, uh, your back. Mm -hmm. And over on the, on the right side, it looks like you just stay down a little bit more <coughs> yep. and don't turn as well yeah. because of the hands are out here a little further, All right. you know? Let's focus on that in these next couple. All right. Okay. This guy's good. There you go. So when you're coming through, right? Yeah, it's this part, right? You unwind your body, feel like you, you <coughs> can take your back and go like this, rather than the ones that you stick it in the ground, you're still kind of down here this way. Right. Ooh. Closer. Yeah. Right. You know, it'd be like, it'd be like if, if you were to throw a medicine ball, right? We were talking about that earlier. And if I had this medicine ball and I was throwing that way to my trainer, right? I could do it three different ways. I could throw my medicine ball down to the golf ball. I could bounce it into him over there. Or I could really unwind and throw that medicine ball up that way, which is where you need to go. So that would be taking the rotation of my body and unwinding it almost like a discus thrower. You know, the big spin move like that. Let's see. I think you were a Olympic hammer throw guy. Come on. Okay. Yes. Getting back to it here. Right? Yep. Let's go on the edge of this divot so we're not at the cliff. Yes. Hmm? Okay. So you feel like, you feel like when you unwind here, that you're going to take this part of your body and really pull it up and around, this left shoulder and, and body through, right? All right. Like a, like throwing the fishing net out there, you know? Yep. Discus throw, something that gets you the rotation up and away. Don't stay hunkered down. Yeah, there you go. Put that rotation through. You're still stuck, huh? I think you are. You feel like uh, when you're done rotating that you get yourself up over the left leg, right? Make that a priority. Upper body up over the left leg when you're finished. That? Yeah, where is she? Right down there? Oh, there it is. Nice shot. <laughs> yeah, it was right towards the red post, eh? All right. Yeah. Is my club going back the right way? Oh, yeah. We're going to see that down the line, you'll see he's got the classic square to the plane backswing. And we got the arms feeling a little bit more in front, right? So we don't get too far behind, laid off. And then you're struggling, right? But now you've got it. Yeah, you know, you've got it. Are they staying out there? Yeah, they are. Okay. Do that practice move going back and show these guys what we're talking about. Yeah, so that's just a little out and away move, right? Arms lifting up a touch. And I think right in here when you when you stop and take a look here on this backswing, that club face is square to the original shaft. Should it be shaft there or here? I think a little outside the hands is good. Here? Yeah. Yeah, but just let it be natural. Let it swing out in front of you a little bit like that. Okay. Okay. We don't, want to, don't want it too inside for you. Oh yeah. Nice. My hey boy. She's still not getting through it, huh? But I'll take it. Did you feel that club a little bit out? Yes. Now show us again. 
All right, here we go. The club's gonna go out a little bit. There you Not go. Here. That's correct. You can see it's just like up that way, right? Yep. Whoosh. Perfect. Perfect. Then I gotta relax coming down. Oh. How'd it go back? Yeah, well, it went back nice. You're just. So I just gotta get it through. Exactly. Were you feeling your balances through your feet? Oh, Here right. on my left, on my right foot. So you got a little bit of load to the back foot, right? Yes. Okay. And then I'm trying to. Well, I mean, if you're loading back over here, it should be a nice transition through of just, you know. Nice and easy. Yeah, right? I mean, just making yourself, if you're going over here, you're going to follow through up on a. That's when I was hitting them. The back. Really pure. So hip bump. No excuse, though. Not anymore. It's out in the open now. Give me some hip bump. Let's go. All right. Big miss. Yep. Scratching the surface again here. You right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little different, huh? So it's that flow, right? A little bit of that flow when you when you start back. No, I right next like to I'm me. Doing this. Like bumping my hip back. Oh yeah, exactly. You feel like when you go back, that helps keep your club out in front of you too. If you don't, then you'll take that thing in here and get yeah, lost. I'm dead, right? And you're dead. So you flow back this way, keeps the shaft out in front, club face good, plus it makes that transition automatic for you. Right. I mean, it makes you feel like you could just go through. That's so. hard, right? Exactly. You ready? Yep. Closest to the hole. Here we come. A little bump back. There you go. I like it, Mark. Very good, Mark. To make that shirt, yeah, that shoulder get behind the ball there, right? Yes. Yeah, that thing's gonna come this way. Yep. Okay. Here you go, there you go. Yeah, perfect divot too. Right? So the bump needs a turn to go with it to get the depth of the club. You know, so that way when you make your move through, it comes a little bit more from inside. Sometimes if you just keep it out in front, you don't turn with it, you'll come down a little bit steep and in front again. Got and that's it. what, yeah, right. So we need a little bit of that shallowing in there, right? But we're not shallowing on the downswing like it's all over what you see. We're shallowing on the backswing, which is really adding some, some depth of the arms. It's in front of me, but I turn and allow the club to get back behind me a bit more so that when I make my transition, it's already shallow. Don't have to shallow a bunch on the way down. Yeah, very good. This cat right here, that's Linda. She's my psychologist. I need some therapy. Hey, Linda. Hey guys, hope you enjoy the video. Mark's such a cool dude to work with, and now I'm his new instructor. I'm so excited. Hey, by the way, click the link in the description below, and I got three free videos for you. If you have some questions or comments, send them out. I'll get right back to you. So again, thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.